Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to more of the campaign for 1940s Germany. We're in episode 17, and it has been a while since I last showed you how the campaign was doing. We're currently at 100,000 victory points versus 71,000. Uh, we have 34 ships, but we're still building a bunch more. I doubt very much, however, whether we'll actually get to see any of them. Maybe we can get the light cruisers out in six months. Maybe we can still get the Scharnhorst and the Prinz Adelbert out there. But sadly, ships like Super Deutschland, H-41, uh, Kurfürst Friedrich Wilhelm, I don't think we're going to see those. And I will very much ask, if not implore, the developers to make these campaigns longer. Make my research mean something. Make my ships, well, make it possible to finish ships. I started with the campaign in 1940s January. I'm still trying to upgrade my dockyard, my shipyard. It's just taking a lot of time. And... Of course it'll take a lot of time, but then don't have the campaign end so soon. I still think that the AI is the biggest thing that's keeping this game back. They're, at the moment at least, just not fun to play against. They spam too many torpedoes, their ships are way too good at dodging, and if the AI starts losing too many ships, um, well they do try to replace them. I mean the British have nine battleships and three battle cruisers, but I don't actually see them out there. They just don't really seem to be doing much of anything. Every now and then, one of them gets too close, either the French or the British, with a cruiser to my shores. And that, of course, swiftly gets dealt with. But outside of that, I'm constantly getting mysterious reports of my transports disappearing in the North Sea, but the game never shows me where. The game doesn't show me where the ship has been lost. Now, we have an opportunity here with Cormoran, which is one of the new Deutschland-class cruisers, to take on the Berwick. That is one of the British-class, uh, Cochrane-class cru cruisers. Yes, it's another torpedo spammer. The Flore, Trude and Pote. So, we're going to do one battleship, oh, sorry, well, one pocket battleship in that sense, against their major group. To the south, Cormoran class, or the Deutschland class, is equipped with a Hydro 3, which is not as good as I would like it, but her turning circle is outstanding at 27 uh, kilometer, no, no, 27 knots. She can do a 242 meter turning circle. I have a green level of crew, so my accuracy debuff is not even that bad. Same for aiming, same for reload, same for damage control. The plan is to dance around all of their torpedoes and save shells. Because at this range, my crew might try to start shooting pretty soon, but I simply don't want them to. No, I first want to have these guys launch torpedoes at me. I want them to close the distance. I want them to try and torpedo spam me. And yes, I know that's weird, but um, if you actually get torpedoed, then you know that they don't have any of those left. So, proper or the, the proper priorities right now. Identify... Um, try to assess which one is the biggest threat, which one needs to go first. It's not even necessarily the heavy cruiser. Uh, this is the heavy cruiser, this is a light cruiser. It's not necessarily the, the biggest ship. It could be the biggest torpedo spammer or the, well, the most target of opportunity for me. So a light cruiser or even a destroyer if it ventures too close. Also, I seem to spot them. I'm... Pretty sure that they've spotted me at this stage, but I'm not 100%. Yes, I can be pretty sure that they have spotted me. Okay. That's the heavy cruiser. It's trying to shoot me with 12 7-inch guns. Which I doubt are going to very much do anything against my ship. Yeah, 12% chance to pen. Keep identifying. At this point in the campaign, I am... Just going to use pretty much every exploit against the AI that I can. Which means that if I can spot their torpedoes early, if I can see what ship they're trying to target, I will do that. I'm going to try and just cheese them as hard as possible because they keep cheesing me right back. Now against this cruiser... No, it's the destroyer of all things. Huh. Unexpected. Use the five inches against those. Let's put the mains on this and the torpedoes on the heavy cruiser. Identification should be swift. 83, 80, 79, and you're going to take a little longer at 70. 
Green level of crew, 5% chance to hit. That's pretty good. HE shells. There you go. That is a nice HE damaging hit from the 5 inchers against the destroyer, the Pote. The Pote has torpedoes, which have a lot of range, but are probably situated on the stern. Now, that's why she's not launching them. They immediately lost their main tower, and thus their conning tower has been damaged. There's the Trude. Um, torpedoes there, behind her secondaries. So she can't very well launch those either. Hello. That was a nice bit of damage. One thing that also frustrates me about this particular campaign is that my ships are slow. Their ships are doing 32, 29, which for a DD is really slow. Um, the heavy cruiser is doing 26, which is also quite slow. And then we got the Flore, which is doing 36. This thing is doing 27 at best. It is really not a very quick ship. And the next campaign, which is going to be Italy, 1940. I'm going to build only the fastest ships. I'll probably have a really small navy. But then again, I don't have to rely upon building ships anyway. Because they never get finished. The AI always surrenders before that happens. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a couple of really quick ships. And I can probably wrap a nice Admiral's Log around that as well. Have you guys started spamming me yet? You still have not. None of you have launched torpedoes. Okay. So it seems to have changed its course. Not knowing about the torpedoes. It can't. Not yet. Still hasn't detected them. Second salvo away from the Comoran. Secondaries on the light cruiser as well, please. Now she torpedoed me. And the Pote did too. Okay, we're going to do a hard port turn. Yes, that's more like it. Good luck with that. Not even my torpedo. It's the torpedo that came out of the destroyer. And to be fair to its name, it is destroying something. It just happens to be a friendly. It probably means that my torpedoes here are going to do not much of anything. How are you not dead? Point two. There you go. Okay, that settles that. Who would like to go next? You? Shall we make this... What is that accuracy there, sir? What the hell? Fix your shit. <laughs> Shells landing here and here is unacceptable. I get that I'm still doing range finding. I get it. But the shell dispersion is something that they said was fixed. Nice torps there, dude. That was actually pretty close. Well, Tad just ran out of her torpedoes. Okay, this is going to get a little dicey. Yeah, that's enough. Throw that ass back to left. We're going to take a torp. Fuck's sake. Are these sneakies? Pretty sneaky. Oh, you just got hit by a torp. No. Yeah, you did. Once again, the protest strikes against the French light cruiser. I seem to have some issues with flooding on my bow. Nothing too bad. Like, who needs allies when you have enemies amongst your ranks? The way that the protest has done damage, she's done 4,900 damage. The sad thing is, almost all of that was against her own friendlies. She hit the... What was that? The Flore twice. And she hit the other light cruiser, the one that's already down, once. And I feel like my cruiser has done absolutely nothing. That's not true. I've done 900 damage. I am, however, concerned that I will flood. At a 44% buoyancy, it appears to be holding... we even pin that? No, we cannot. Yeah, buoyancy is holding. The Prote is really not that dangerous anymore. She does not have torpedoes. She's going to try and hit me with a 4-incher, which has 0.2% chance to pin. 
But because my secondaries... No, actually, my secondaries can hit the Berwick. Great, let's do that then. Destroy the torpedo launcher. Good news. I have to angle a little more to make sure the bow turrets can also work. Berwick's turning circle is 432 on paper, but the AI cheats like a motherfucker, so they're probably going to be turning a lot better than that. Let's see what the Berwick's going to be doing. How good's your sonar? Three. Great. I have minus 73% visibility on torps. So mine are pretty sneaky, and if these things get hit, many bulkheads should keep them afloat, but at least slow them down. Then I might be able to torp them again if I swing all the way further to port. Berwick should probably... Oh, my torpedo launcher got destroyed. Berwick should probably detect them at about 1.2 kilometer range. Something to that effect. Oh, she's flooding. Now she detects the torpedo. Now it's too late, especially if you turn like that. One hit. At this range, we should be pretty capable of penning that ship. What the hell? Get your accuracy in order. Kermoran. Good grief. Oh, my rudder's damaged. That's an uh, inopportune timing. I mean, rudder damage is never fun. But if you got several spreads of torpedoes coming your way, it gets exponentially more interesting. There we go. Nice try there, Berwick. My buoyancy is still holding at 44%. Berwick, however, still has more torpedoes. We can't pen that. Which torpedo launcher got blown up? Oh, this side. Okay. Um, do we torp it again? She's running, isn't she? Yeah, she's running. These things carry so many shells, though. Increased ammo. Blocked. Problem with the Cremoran is that she's mostly relying on her AP shells. And, um... I don't have any more. Don't have any more AP shells. Oh, sorry, itchy shells. Flooding on the DD. Many bulkheads. Okay. Berwick. Still 44, 43. So they still have some sort of flooding going on. It's just not that deadly. The issue is she is limping away. Okay, let's try and hit the potet with all the guns. Or she too makes it away, and I think I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna try and get the wounded Cormoran out of here. Get her fixed up. And that way she can fight again and hope for more, well, enemy slash allies like the Pote, which are eager to torp their friendlies. This, by the way, was the perfect example of why it is not a great idea to sit in the middle of an enemy group um, hoping that they don't torp each other. Because they do. Fairly aggressively so. They seem to hate each other just as much as they hate my ships. Look at this turning circle. This is just wrong. What? Look at this! Ships don't turn like that. I get it. You're slow. I get it. You're running 11 knots. But you don't suddenly spawn tugs. Come on, game. Come on. That's a bit cheesy. Come on, there you go, flooding. Where are you going? Are you following the heavy cruiser out of here? Is that the deal? 242, Sonar 3, okay. I wonder if the Pote, after all of her massacring of friendly cruisers, they should have known better, they're a veteran crew, if they're still going to run into a torpedo, they might. They might. They're over pen. I doubt I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Well, if the flooding ticks up. They really have to mess up in order to hit a torpedo. 
If they just turn ever so slightly to starboard, like five degree rudder, they're fine. There. Wow. These things get to 400 meters? That's impressive. Which way are you going to turn? Yeah, starboard. Easy. All right, well, I got everything I wanted out of this battle. Uh, I, well, I didn't sink two cruisers. They did. Giving me 1,400 victory points without really having to do much. So, thank you, uh, Protet, for not really protecting uh, your enemy or your, your group. Good lord. Ah, task force under major attack. The British. The British, the British, the British are here. Um, in force. Hanover. My only surviving Bismarck class, which has been updated, is going up against three of their battleships. That is a lot of 15 inches. Can I withdraw? No. Fine. We're fighting this one out. We're fighting this one out. This is going to get rough. Torpedoes are my friend here. 24 inch torpedoes against their battleships. That'll be the, the primary objective. But eight light cruisers. That's not funny. That's 160 torpedo launchers. Ish. Enemy west. Alright, DDs. We're gonna head southwest. We're gonna try and find the enemy. I have already been spotted, apparently. That's nice. Slow the Hanover down to full. She's a seasoned crew. 29.3% accuracy bonus. And we have eyes on one of their battleships. Which was spotted by the Nizen now? The Nizen now is behind the Hanover. How did you see that? I don't get this. I don't get this. Anyway, super heavy shells on the updated Bismarck. Well, updated Bismarck class, the Hanover. I want you people to form up. Oh, crap. These are not all the same type of destroyers that I'm looking for. Because uh, this guy is a gunboat. It means I need to detach you. And you guys can transit at 36 knots. You're going to wait for your buddy. And you are going to hunt down light cruisers with a passion. That's your goal in life. Kill light cruisers. Hanover's accuracy is pretty good. There. Oh, they're all inside of a smoke screen, of course. Target inside smoke. Minus 25% accuracy. Okay. Well, at least we know where they are. Um, heavy cruisers. You are set to screen. This is not, however, what I'm seeing you do. Hello. What are you doing? Because those shells look to be going towards this. That is what the 32 is going to go for. No torps. Whoa! Could you not? They hit the 27? At that range? That must have been a lucky hit. Anything else does not explain it. Um, that's a light. That's a battleship. That's a battleship. Alright, just torp this. Just torp this. They're coming your way. Should be doable. Regular trained crew on these. That's excellent. Their firing range is 11.8 with their AP shells and they rely on those. That's their main shell type. Go on. I need you to launch those torpedoes just to break up the formation. 17. Turn back a little. The battleship is doing some damage. I do want to have the Hanover kite away slightly because of all those torpedoes that are most likely going to be coming here. Oh, they're leaving. Fine, you're going to torp this. Just spread it. 
<clears throat> spread that 24 inch salvo and make that well make that formation just disappear you torpedo spam me I torpedo spam you I want you to follow the battleship in uh, yeah pretty much the same for you Let's just wait for the torpedoes to arrive. Let's wait for the V-32 to start engaging and eliminating light cruisers. We're getting some decent damage in on one of their elite battleships here. I'm not sure which one it is. It looks like they are taking an interest in my destroyer here. Which has 21 kilometer range torps. Damage to the main tower! Look at you. Very good. The heavy cruisers, in the meanwhile, firing at their light cruisers. Marshal Pen. Uh, actually, I know I told you to start turning or to start following the battleship, but I want to do a bit more torpedo protection. Just torpedo screening. That torpedo's in the water somewhere. Here. It's going to transit for a while. The other salvo? Be farther back. Is that what there? That was targeting light cruisers, which are still more or less on course. Here's your target. That's one of their light cruisers. I'm gonna come about. We're ready the AP, and we're gonna start shooting. Gunboat it down. Turrets are probably turning. Something detected enemy torpedoes, aka mine, here. Yeah, you're going to be in a bit of a rough spot if you don't do something about it. And probably the rest of the formation's insta-panicking and running away as quickly as they can. If this guy maintains its turn... Yep, hit. <clears throat> hit on the heavy cruiser. That's a good hit. Nice big juicy target. Torpedoes here are still well. I'm pretty optimistic about that, actually. I have indeed nothing yet. Torp this. It's only three torpedoes, but every little bit helps. And it seems that their battleships have taken a very, very aggressive stance on the V-32's activities here. Which I like, because if they're firing at 18.5 kilometers against my destroyer, then they're not working on anything else. Sadly, it looks like some of these guys are already turning away. They have probably detected the torps. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Hello, Skirmisher. Okay, let's pause it a second. We got the Skirmisher here with has all the torps loaded. Not actively doing anything. Prometheus hasn't launched. Dolores. Okay, we got the battle... No, heavy cruiser here. This is the one that we torped. Extremely badly damaged. Almost completely flooded out. Then we got their battleships, which we still haven't fully ID'd, but we're awfully close. It looks like their ships here are fine. And are not doing anything stupid. Sadly. My chance to hit is pretty terrible here. Hello there, sir. You're getting a little too aggressive. Ah, it's the Cressy. She's down to 15% buoyancy. Many bulkheads. Huh. You're targeting a light cruiser? No, 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 no. We're gonna finish off the heavy cruiser. They have me completely outgunned. But it remains to be seen whether they can actually make something work with that. So much shell fire coming in. King George going after the V-32, as expected. And it's the Duke of York, which has taken some damage. The Hanover is completely unharmed. 
Yes. That's it. What are you shooting? AP. Perfect. Ricochet. Try HE against that cruiser. That might be enough to sink it. Ooh. 15 inch shell took you for a bit of a run. Not good enough. The obsession about the enemy with my destroyers is a bit insane. I mean, yes, my destroyers can really be dangerous, but they're not that dangerous. How many times have you been shot at? 1100 times. But you're a fast ship. Ooh. That was a good hit on the Cressy. 1248 damage. That was the HE damage that I was looking for. This is another 32 million. 32 million? Cruiser. That's a, pretty, a bit cheap for a cruiser. This thing is 39 million. 39? Wait. I thought they had these really expensive light cruisers. Did they die? It's like the British just went with some sort of austerity measures and made all of their ships cheaper. And I can't quite explain it. Don't get too excited there, Hanover. Because this thing can still eliminate you. Battleships are just completely running off. This is typical for the British. They just run. I've had so many battles where I just have to chase them down. It's getting quite tedious. This is another reason why the next campaign is going to be all fast ships. Just ships which are out there, 40 knots, 45 knots, running. Achilles has 13 kilometer torps? That explains a lot. Cressy. Hanging on by a prayer. Ooh. Bad news for the Vectis. Serious flooding and minimum bulkheads. Combine that, you get a pretty bad news situation. That's 32. Perfectly fine. Oh, what are you shooting now? The heavy cruiser? There goes the Cressy, finally. Okay, who would like to go next? You're in smoke? The battleships are coming back. Okay, focus on the battleship. AP shells. Range? In range. Okay, Hanover, we're gonna continue to turn away. Not sure why Nizen now is so slow. Oh. Gotcha. Neisenau is one of the Deutschland class cruisers. Right. That means you are far slower than your buddy. Which is why the screening isn't working too well. 22% chance to hit the Duke of York. 16% chance to pen me. 62% chance to pen them. That's more like it. Um, if I try and torp these, all these light cruisers are going to interfere with that. So chances to get a torpedo past this screen and onto the battleships currently is pretty bad. Just find the closest target and open up. <clears throat> Carry on. I kind of doubt that we've completely eliminated the light cruiser class, which was the torpedo spammer. I very much doubt that. Because they had a load of those. Nice. They had a load of those cruisers, but I'm not seeing them at the moment. Nice damage. 419 on the Duke of York. And the Duke is firing at the Niza now. Okay. Hold off on the torps. We have 12.7 kilometer range, which means we're not in range yet. 
You just torped against the Nice and Now. Good. This is kind of what I was hoping for. The Nice and Now as a lightning rod for the at least the Achilles. Drawing attention and then turning away to prevent getting torpedoed. The DD here could be made useful. This battleship is not having a fun time. The updated Bismarck is so much better than the old one. Nice now taking some damage. Another 127 damage hit. Achilles is coming under fire from, I think, Comet. Yeah. It's not an ideal target. Let's go for the Polaris instead. And I'm still... Having the V-17 just follow and wait for a more opportune time to launch torpedoes. We have time. Another hit. Looks like we're going to eliminate one of their battleships. Considering that they have nine and I have one. It's a perfectly good thing that would happen. Be an excellent outcome for me. I'm so glad that, at least for now, the enemy is not torpedo spamming. There you go. Last set of the torpedoes from the 32 is away. Engage the Polaris. Nisa now is still the main target of the battleships, is she not? Yes. Okay, in that case you're going to continue heading away. It's too dangerous out here for you. The V-32 is engaging. And she has done almost no damage so far. She was designed to take on very thin-skinned light cruisers, so the Polaris should be an easy kill. These things have standard bulkheads. Yeah. She's already starting to flood. Duke of York is down to 26%. Engine has been damaged on the Polaris. Uh, Comet, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you're getting quite close to all of these cruisers. Folks and Skirmisher, she's currently closest. More flooding. Courtesy of the destroyer, I suppose. Yeah, pen, 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 pen. Look at that. The British are going to be dealt a serious blow here. Boom! 15-inch high explode... No, 15-inch armor pen. Two shells hit. Duke of York is flooding. She's down to 13%. The Hanover has taken some damage. She's not entirely unharmed. But considering I lost 10% structural and they lost 90, I am so far considering this an absolute win. How are you doing there? That is the torpedo spread. I'm going to just damage all of these lights. Because they are pretty fast on their feet. 30 knots. She's still a little slower than my ships. What hit you? Really? The destroyer pulled it off? Yes, yeah, she did. She did. That was the torpedo, believe it or not, from the, the 27. No, from the 32. My bad, the torpedo from the 32 hit you. So the King George is slowing and flooding. Duke of York is down 2% and 29% buoyancy. Two more hits, maybe one even, ought to finish her off. Hanover still casually sailing around. Still plenty of ammo. 31% chance to hit. More flooding on Prometheus. How's Nyza now? You good? Because I could use you again. Oh crap, you're almost out of ammo. At least your AP shells. Uh, switch to save. Only shoot when you have a good solution. 0% structural on the Duke, and she's dead. Okay, next target is not the light cruiser. Well, it could be. A few 20-inch hits on the light cruiser, and the light cruiser is no more. 
Here comes the 15 inch high explosive. Look at the bird. Look at the pretty lights in the sky, and you missed. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. You're getting a little too close there, 32. Come on, Hanover. These are easy kills. Or should be. Yeah, we don't quite have the accuracy for that. Okay, King George, AP. Or actually, Alter Select. Our light cruisers are damaged. So far, we've spread out the damage a bit more than anything else. Turn the Hanover back, because she's just getting torpedoed by the Polaris. Secondaries on the Polaris. Main guns on the already damaged King George. And she just took a lot more damage. This is the type of battleship that I should have had right from the get-go. Comet, status. Because now that the battleship has been eliminated, you're facing fire from one battleship less. And I think the King George is a little too preoccupied with controlling her damage. So I can have both of my heavy cruisers punch some holes in their lights. What happened here? Did you get in the way? You did. Dunedin got in the way of the... <laughs> the Selvo heading to the King George. And she's just getting killed. Here comes Nyza now again. She just got torped. Hmm. Let's get torpedoes from the Nyza now away on the Polaris. Just breaking up the formation and I'm looking deep. It could still hit the, the Malaya over there. Torpedoes away. Save the rest. Wow, the Hanover is really taking the King George apart. That's a bit much. It was a 15 inch hit. On the Nice and out. 170 damage. Good hit. We're down to HE, but that's actually a better choice here. To deal with the likes of Skirmisher and Achilles. the other torpedo launcher to also work. Comet, status. Engage the Polaris. Oh, you're 13 clicks away from the Malaya. Hold on. I was hoping you were farther than that. This is a bit dangerous. How far away are you? 23. Accuracy 16%. Good. Going back to port. Eyes are now turned. Not a lot of time to spare. Uh, Achilles has detected my torpedoes now. Yeah, that's the inbounds on them, but they're not there anymore. The other light cruisers, Undaunted, Concord, and Tribune, are. I'm still waiting for the opportunity with 17 to strike. I think I might have it against the Malaya. Because what's going to happen is the Malaya will panic when she spots the torpedoes. So she's not going to turn straight. She's going to start turning away, which will lead to an impact of a torpedo. Unless she already is changing direction. Which I kind of doubt. Currently, Hanover is unescorted. That is a risk. But these light cruisers have a range of 13, was it? 13. So their ability to actually throw torpedoes against me is seriously reduced. Okay, nice. Now I think it's time for you to leave. Comet. Target Prometheus now. Just use high explosive, man. You got this. B-32 detected torpedoes. Ah, yes. Those were the ones that were supposed to go to the Comet, I think. Okay, you're already leaving. Let's empty out the rest of your magazines. I should arguably be going for kill shots rather than this constant low-level damage. But if I can put a lot of these ships back in dry dock for the Brits, their repair bill is going to be astronomical. And it looks like Hanover is about to get her second kill. Out of the 12,000 damage that I've done, 12,000 
sorry, 19,000 damage that I've done, 12,000 has come from the Hanover. There she goes. King George is dead. The V-17 has launched her torpedoes probably a while ago. There. Uh, that means I'm going to have you just back following the battleship. She might still come in handy. Malaya now coming under fire from Hanover. Still getting some damage in on Prometheus. Comet's running a little low on AP shells, but the HE shells are fine. The 32 is coming back in as well. Can you pen that? Sort of. I'm kind of waiting for the Malaya to start panicking after she spots the torpedoes. Pen. Very nice. However, no, she already turned. Prometheus is eliminated. Heavy flooding. Perfect. Malaya's already down 9%. Secondary range, 13-7. Putting everything else outside of secondary range. Okay. Engage Skirmisher. Flooding here. Uh, nope, finish off the Polaris, actually. My bad. Shouldn't have pulled you off that tasking. That's very nice there. Comet getting some good damage in the Polaris. Malaya down to 87% and flooding. Hanover still angled. 19, sorry, 17% chance to pen. And I have 39% chance to pen you. 332 opening up against Skirmisher. And immediately penning and destroying a funnel. 30, 230, no, 263 damage there on Malaya. This is the German fleet that I like to see. Comet's getting torpedoed. So is the destroyer, actually. If I let you select your own shells, what are you going to shoot? AP or HE? What if I force you to use high explosive? Partial pyres and f partial... Yeah. Okay. You good? You're not under torpedo attack anymore? Most definitely under torpedo attack. Comet as well. I hope that that course change solved it. Big course correction that I did. Ooh. The battleship is getting interested in the Comet again. It's bad news. There goes the Polaris. Next target. Skirmisher. Ow. I have to angle away, but I cannot angle my ass right into the torpedoes from the Achilles. Smoke. Malaya. Partial damage. And overturn. Yeah, that's more like it. Nice and now, are you okay? Nice and now is limping away from the battle. Good. Malaya flooding. Pretty bad. Structural integrity down to half. Let's pull the destroyers away. Give me secondaries on Skirmisher. Malaya down to 40% buoyancy. And seriously hurting. There's another flooding. She's limping away as well. Trying to. More flooding. Hanover is just on a complete killing spree. Turn a bit more. Damage to the main gun. The light cruiser is getting mauled by the secondaries from the battleship. The force, the sixes. She is really having a rough time. Malaya is flooded. Switch fire to Skirmisher. 
I need this thing out of the way. There, it just launched a torpedo salvo at me. Oh, come on, Malaya. There. Cute cruiser you got there. Malaya, by some miracle, not dead. 1% buoyancy. I'm gonna have to hit her again. Look at this list! How are you not dead? The water should be pouring in through your secondary armament. But it is not. Achilles, looking for a kill shot against my battleship. Come on. Flooding. Yes, but no. Come on! 1%? So it's the standard damage. I'm going to turn away with the Hanover. That torpedo cell from the Achilles is going to be launched any minute now. There it is. It just launched. Hard to port. Starboard. There. That should shut you up. Hanover. 23,000 damage. AP shells. I have 38 AP shells left, and the rest is HE, and then we're down to secondaries. Tribune, Concord. Yeah, we're going to have some survivors here for the Brits, but that's fine. I got... Hello. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> that's the third battleship that I've sunk. Three battleships eliminated in one battle, and the losses that I took... What, one destroyer? If that? There's so much happening in these battles that I generally don't keep too much track on how many ships I lose. Come on, one good hit. Yep, there we go. Boom. That should eliminate the Dunedin. Uh, do I let these guys go? Yes. Let them go. 13,000 victory points. I have lost nothing. Niza now took some damage, yes, but she can be fixed. The Malaya, the King George, the Duke of York, the Cressy, the Achilles, the Skirmisher, the Dunedin, Prometheus and Polaris are not. That's a lot of losses for the Brits. Hell of a day for the Germans. Look at that. Sunk, sunk, sunk. Oh, and I still keep losing transport. Nice fleet you got there, Brits. Shame if something happened to it. Now, the repair bill is serious. I'm minus 23 million, and I have already reduced spun, uh, my funding of the tech. I'm going to reduce that further to zero. I just don't need tech anymore. This guy is going to be down for a month, a month, uh, a month. A battleship? Two months. Hey, fixing a battleship for two months after taking down three enemy battleships is an absolute bargain. And I think I need... Yeah, there it is. Five months for the extra battle cruisers to come off. Right. So there's more life in this campaign than I expected. Although not for the Royal Navy. 24 ships. Perhaps next episode I'll make peace. I'm not sure yet. You'll just have to see in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this big brawl. And I'll see you soon for more videos.